Thank you, Jaya. Uh, and welcome panelists, and students, parents, and whoever is viewing this uh, webinar. A very uh, good morning to you all. And I hope this is going to be an enjoyable uh, session as well as informational as well, uh, as you'll get to hear about uh, our distinguished alumni's uh, journey, their experiences, their lessons, uh, whatever uh, inputs they can have for you. And we've picked uh, five uh, different uh, <clears throat> uh, kinds of alumni, one who's you know passed out and uh, uh, graduated in 2007, recent graduate, somewhere in the middle. We've picked a mix of engineering, uh, management, and sci from sciences backgrounds. So uh, you'll have some good mix and good uh, you know, uh, insights about them. And uh, before I uh, introduce uh, the panelists, uh, uh, I'd like to, uh, you know, uh, ask you one question. What does September 11th remind you about? Maybe uh, most of you uh, might have, uh, you know, uh, thought about the 9-11 attacks uh, on, uh, uh, in US, uh, yeah, uh, unfortunate thing, but it also, you know, uh, marks the very influential speech by uh, Swami Vivekananda. And I hope uh, we don't have five Vivekanandas here, but I hope uh, they are uh, influential in some way to the students. Uh, I'm hoping so. Now, uh, <clears throat> let me introduce you, uh, our panelists. Uh, first, we have uh, Dheeraj Varma. He uh, graduated in 2007 with a bachelor's in technology degree in civil engineering. He's been an entrepreneur with uh, nine years of experience in manufacturing, construction, and automobile uh, industries. Prior to that, he worked uh, at Infosys as a data warehouse analyst, so he was a little bit into IT as well. He worked both in India as well as the US, and he's also an alumni of UCLA Anderson School of Management. So he's got that nice background. Uh, I'll be introducing uh, you to the other uh, panelists, Saket, Praveen, Arun, uh, and uh, Vishnu, uh, when it's their time to, you know, uh, speak. So now uh, I'll let uh, Dheeraj talk about his journey, his insights to the students, whatever his experiences, good, bad, ugly. Go ahead, Dheeraj. It's all yours now. Thank you, Naveen. Uh, good morning, uh, Gita Mites. So this is Dheeraj from uh, BTEC Civil from 2003 to 2007 batch. So firstly, a very warm welcome to all you, all of you into the Geetam family. So there was a saying from our college days that every Geetamite is a dynamite. And you guys are unleashed dynamites right now. So uh, I'm sure you are uh, ready to set the campus on fire. Like we did it in our time. Now it's uh, your turn to do it. So apart from that, like whatever great things we're going to say about the college or the life at Geetam right now, just, just don't believe it because it's going to be a lot better than that. You know, we can just give a small tinge of it in, in such a quick uh, time, but uh, you're going to experience the real game soon. So just to give a uh, brief intro about uh, my background, like I was born and brought up in Vizag. So my dad is a businessman and my mother is a banker. I had a very easygoing childhood. Uh, I had always fun-filled school and uh, intermediate uh, days. Then I was like uh, looking to get into any engineering college and uh, like most of the youngsters in Vizag, right? I too had a dream of getting into Gita. And I was fortunate I got in and along with me, my other close friends to join at the same time in the same class as well. So it was great fun from the day one, I would say. And uh, regarding life at Gita, so uh, even after it's been 14 years now, it's very tough to believe that it's been so long <clears throat> because like we're always in connect with my friends at Geetam, like we chat almost every day, we, we meet quite often. So I would say my biggest takeaway from the Geetam is the friends which I made here. They've been my lifetime friends, I would call them. Uh, like apart from that, like... Um, to just get, dig down more deep into it. I would like to take the example of my journey at Geetam. Okay. So in that, uh, I was like, never in, I was a pretty ordinary student at school. 
not great into academics or anything but uh, and even in fact uh, i didn't get the rank to get into geetham straight away but i managed to get in so after getting in i realized there are a lot of bright minds in the classroom they are wonderful people with good skills they have been do doing very good at uh, multiple things and soon i realized i have been performing consistently on par with them i have been picking up well and uh, i haven't done anything great or you know put in a lot of effort but it's the atmosphere of the classroom is the people around us and the, as a team we have did well together and uh, by the time i graduated like uh, i had an uh, campus placement at infosys which was little difficult for a civil engineer is in those days and i got uh, an admission in a us university for the masters and then got one more admission in a construction management school here so all these uh, things happened the, this is the kind of impact which i had you know during the geetham days uh i mean the college has given us the right exposure i would say and the path to go forward uh, this is this is exactly what we need from a college or a university one more uh, recent example i would say that uh, my wife who works for uh, salesforce which is a very leading tech giant right now so they have been hiring from tier 1 and tier 2 universities across india for fresh engineering graduates so tier 1 which is the iits and the tier 2 which are uh, the triple iits nits bits and geethams so i was like very happy to know that you know geetham is now been considered on par at the national level with uh, this prestigious uh, universities so that's that's really great to know and uh, i'm pretty sure under the leadership of uh, shri bharat you know geetham is going to reach new heights and uh, i would wish good luck to all of you i would say have a great time at geetham and uh, thank you thank you navin for giving us an opportunity to speak out today thank you thank you dheeraj for taking the time to you know uh, talk to the students uh, and uh, yeah if you're all done uh, we we'll move over to our next uh, panelist uh, saket garg he is an alumni of bba uh, graduated in 2010 and is now the director of uh, solid plywood private limited uh, he's an, he's been an entrepreneur uh, for the last uh, 11 years and uh, primarily in the plywood industry and his passion uh, led him to uh, found samrat 16 uh, maybe he will you know uh, talk more about what it is and explain what that ngo is about and how it uh, trains underprivileged children in computer skills uh, he also uh, loves indulging in traveling trekking and deep sea diving a pretty adventurous guy so here it is saket it's all yours now hi hello hi namaste everyone i'm saket bird like mr just i full name is saket bird we are actually from haryana but i am based at vishakhapatnam since very long and i've got the opportunity to do education from uh, from 2007 to 2010 firstly i like to thank everyone for having me in this panel and giving me this opportunity and this honor to be able to speak it's a real privilege for me uh, like praveen just said praveen just said that we are into plywood manufacturing i joined Geet my vision uh, mr saket uh, sorry to interrupt uh, this voice break uh, i suggest to turn off the camera so that the bandwidth would be sufficient uh one second am i is my voice not clear yes yes it's now clear now now is it better yes it's better now I switched off my camera yeah yeah this is to go saket acha uh now my voice is better right yes sir great so uh geetham has been great i joined geetham in 2007 from 2007 to 2010 i was in geetham before that i was in the north uh, i studied in a boarding school called shell college nainital after that i got back to shakapatnam first day in geetham i still remember when we went to geetham 
uh, we entered the gates, this huge campus, this is like a, the way they show in the colleges, you have lush green trees around you, the gardens. We were a bit nervous getting into such a huge campus with all our seniors. And, but the day we entered, all seniors called us, they started talking to us. It was, it was beautiful. Uh, everyone, everyone would ask us, have you had your lunch? They were very specific about lunch, I don't know why. They would, uh, they would make sure that you go to all the canteens. We had three, four canteens in those days. Now, I'm not sure how many canteens you have, but we had very good canteens. The food was amazing. Uh, the college life in all was beautiful. We couldn't ask for more. We had basketball games. We had our football tournaments. We had our elocutions. We had our debates. We had our deep plans. We had our own fests. Once our fest got over, we had the engineering fests going on in so many engineering colleges. The entire year would just pass by participating in one event or the other event. So it was beautiful. Gitam gave me so many opportunities to participate in field of sports, in field of uh, social science, anything. Communication skills have also been uh, greatly developed in Gitam. I fairly believe that uh, life is all about experiences. Whenever you have to face something big in life, you should have some prior experience. That helps. That helps you take the bigger decisions in life. And Gitam has helped us in that way. We had so many events going on, so many co-curricular activities. I was the man who was involved in every co-curricular activity. Academics, for me, it was co-curricular activities, then academics, though I did well in academics also. But uh, we participated in every event. We participated in treasure hunts. We organized the fests. We were there in the finance quotas. We were there in every, we participated in everything. And Gitam gave us that opportunity. Every day we had some new form filling in, either going for this, going for that. We had so many on-campus facilities, so many student activities going on. Campus felt more like home. We'd go to college morning 8.30 and come back at 6, 6.37, because after college, we would have so many things going on. So it was really nice. It was really nice. Uh, everything, every day was, uh, was an excitement. I do miss college now also. I do miss college. And... Uh, it is given us great uh, experiences. Everything that we have learned academically, like we are into cloud manufacturing. So what we learned in the HR, the motivational theories, all those theories are coming into real practice now. When we study in college, we feel that things are these things are of no use. But in reality, everything, each and everything that is taught from the book, from the ground, from the uh, experiences, everything comes to use. So I feel that you know, Gitam has given us the right uh, experience. Gitam itself is a life with its own set of rules, with its own sets of uh, fun, everything. It is, it's been the best days of my life. So I wish everyone who's joining now, best of luck and make the most of it. Gitam has got everything that you will need. All you have to do is go out there and uh, participate in everything. And given the right time and with right energy, you'll get to learn a lot. Thank you. Thank you, Saket. Uh, <clears throat> we will, Excuse uh, me, Navi. Navi. Yeah, go Excuse ahead. me, sorry to barge in. No worries. I a lot of questions on classes, so I'm telling you guys, I just got a confirmation. September 17th will be your bridge class uh, starting date. Bridge classes are basically orientation induction classes, which you will have to attend. And October 15th, you will have online classes starting. September 17th, bridge classes will start. October 15th, online classes will start. Okay, now before 17, you will have certificate verification and you will get to hear from us in next two, three days on certificate uh, verification part. Hope I'm clear and no more questions on classes, please. Over to you, Naveen, sorry. No worries, no worries. And uh, I see in the chat that uh, someone is asking uh, uh, about the experiences at uh, Bangalore and Hyderabad campuses as well. Uh, Unfortunately, we don't have any alumni from Bangalore or Hyderabad campuses today, but I'm hoping it is uh, going to be pretty much the same. Uh, well, let's move on to the next uh, panelist, uh, Arun Kumar uh, Ramachandra. <clears throat> he is a senior manager at United Scientific Group, uh, Texas. Uh, he's uh, graduated in uh, 2010 uh, with an MSc in biochemistry. Uh, he's also serving as an executive director for La Prensa Medica Argentina in Argentina. Uh, uh, correct me if I've uh, you know, uh, mispronounced it, uh, Arun. Uh, please go ahead and uh, tell us your journey at Geetam, how it has helped you, you know, uh, 
in getting placed or reaching whatever uh, you know uh, uh, or wherever you are right now over to you arun Thanks, Naveen. Uh, thanks for the opportunity given. Thanks, Abhishek and uh, Jay Lakshmi Guru for the first time uh, possibly are meeting me today. Uh, well, uh, so hi, and I am Arun Kumar Ramachandra Varupu. Uh, I'm I'm a passer of 2010 uh, from a master's in biochemistry. Uh, possibly, yeah. If uh, when Abhishek called me, he was talking about uh, like uh, Arun, if you can fix up uh, your your experience at Geetam in five to ten minutes. that would be great but i was uh, like i really wonder that if i could seriously you know, make it in 10 minutes whatever i had I and mean, whatever my experience that geetam taught or else whatever i have learned i think that that is not at all enough but yes i'll try to put myself in this sanchez time uh well as soon as i passed out of geetam uh, of course i have been uh, like i'm hired into reddies uh, as uh, so because we are from a biochemistry background that before when i got into uh, geetha i was in a state of dilemma like see you are moving into biochemistry you are from a biotechnology background and uh, always biochemistry was my option it was never uh, like any any questions in bike am i audible uh, yes you are yes you are audible so any any uh, questions in uh, biochemistry were always my options but whenever i turned up to uh, geetha uh somehow i felt okay looking at the campus i decided to do uh pick any 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 topic that i wanted to uh, like no matter whatever it is i had to do some masters here i have to pick up a pick up a course and yes i've taken biochemistry just looking at the campus to be very honest and uh, as soon as i moved in well just like sakit said just like dheeraj uh it was all new to me but yes my friends really helped me a lot or else possibly my seniors who made me so comfortable and uh they made me feel that yes geetham of course i hail from hyderabad but i'm all new to visakhapatnam but they say yeah of course beaches keep you always i mean that's something where people would really look at and people from deccan area like us yes we wanted to go to uh, visakhapatnam beach always and that's one part that i joined there uh, after after joining in yes enzymology if i talk about certain classes which are all new to me but thanks to all my gurus who made me uh, who made me i mean gave me that passion towards the subject by chemistry and uh, they made me i mean they motivated me every uh, in every point if i talk about the uh, about the my hod starting from uh, baskar uh, baskar raju garu and uh, subhika ma'am and rachel ma'am if i had to talk about each and every one still i maintain my rapport with all my professors who taught me and uh, as a part of it i even uh, come down to give them for a couple of campus drives as well uh because at from 2015 i started uh, attending campus drives i mean uh, going to different uh, universities for campus drives and every year i make sure i'm to give them some some or the other way i'll uh, come down to give them uh, after uh, you know even when i take i take, i think i've taken more than uh, 2500 interviews by now in my different organizations and out of which if someone comes down from give them yes i'll definitely say there is always a point uh, like yes you are from give them already you are you are uh, you have a positive note from my end and uh, the rest is what depends on you so especially when it comes to geetam yes geetam taught me uh, uh, i did not get, when i got into redis i did not immediately move into redis i have taken an option of getting into uh, civil services as my family uh, had this experience of uh, being into civil service or something so uh, i wanted to be into civil services as soon as i have told my professors my professors guided me like okay it's not a problem i mean job yes you have learned a lot and yes you can get a job anywhere but the aim that you have to you have to uh, you have in your mind had to be fulfilled and uh, they they motivated me uh, i joined in wajiram ravi uh, i've been uh, i've been into uh, i prepared myself for civil services of course i didn't crack it but yes i attended interview twice i've been into uh, personality test twice uh, for the year 2011 and 12 consecutive years i should say on the first uh, Uh, first year of my uh, attempt uh, gradually yes i would say geetam not just teaches you for all the students or parents i'm talking uh, talking about geetam not just teaches you uh, or gives you some certificates just for a purpose of a qualification to showcase that i have done my masters i have done my graduation from geetam but yes for sure geetam actually teaches you what is a way of life and how do you lead i mean how do you need to lead your life for sure i'm going to tell you that because every 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 single moment if i say uh, from starting from the classes till the way that discipline you i mean i forgot to talk about the discipline part 
yeah discipline is something that seriously uh, i never expected geetam to be so much disciplined when it comes to i'm talking about the parents perspective uh, once you come down to classes they make sure they complete the syllabus uh, i i i mean i was surprised like okay if you come into masters i don't know people are seriously worried about completing the syllabi uh, or else the people are still, mostly we will love to hang out and all yes apart from hang out being uh, being uh, like having good time over with the friends and having proper hangouts and just like uh, the co curricular activities what saket said uh, apart from all those yes you have your subject you have uh, your timely uh, uh, completion of syllabi and make sure that you get proper grades apart from it you get proper communication too i would definitely say your communication what actually words look uh, you like what world look want to look you like uh, and uh, yeah i would i would definitely take all these points into consideration of uh, considering geetam choosing geetam and whenever i go to any campus drive uh, across across india i would not i definitely say what adhiraj said yes geetam is uh, i i wouldn't uh, compare any other south indian university with geetam for sure not being a homely organization that i studied but yes it's true that i believe geetamites are truly dynamites are truly dynamites are truly dynamites i'm telling you that because Uh, the gem of guys who are sitting here along with me i'm happy i'm meeting you for the first time but uh, yes i think somehow i uh, we got connected each other possibly we'll catch up sometime later too in different aspects and different ways of uh, telling our friends or telling our juniors what is the way of life at geetham and what do they uh, get and what is the exposure what kind of exposure they do really do they really get and uh, that's all i would say and thanks a lot for uh, the opportunity provided thank you thank you for taking the time to you know uh, sharing your uh, journey with our students uh, next we have uh, navin navin we, we we shall have a poll question before we move sure on. sure sure okay, so sure, we have yeah, two yeah. more right we have vishnu and uh, pravin pravin okay uh, sorry vishnu and pravin we just run a poll for students we just see how excited are they to go you know participate and uh, let me tell you the very nq crowd and you see a lot of responses coming in so Guys, that will be great question what is your ambition after your college education so all your panelists here the alumni would like to know what is your ambition after your college education so i am launching the question here you go on sir come on come on uh, uh, uh. okay getting placed in your team organization becoming an entrepreneur or oh, we have two entrepreneurs here so you can you can get a good inspiration from them pursuing higher education uh, we do have few alumni who pursue their ms uh, you know abroad then getting placed in the or dream organization yeah we do have so right we we do have good mix of alumni today so where can we see the results uh, jay yeah yeah yeah, yeah. so i'm just giving i'm just teasing you with the response okay. so <laughs> We have seventy-one percent answers so far. Um, we'll wait for eighty-five percent score to come. Come on, guys! Quick, quick! When can we expect offline classes, guys? Offline classes, nobody can tell. It is a directive from UGC and government. It is not in our hands. There is COVID outside, so please don't ask this question anymore. Okay, we have seventy-eight percent. Any more answering, or should I stop and the poll here? Oh, you can do. Tanmay wanted to, uh, you know, ask or check with us. What if we go for higher education and then become an entrepreneur? The world is yours, man. I mean, <laughs> it's up to you. I mean, you want to do your education, do entrepreneurship. You want to continue entrepreneurship, go for a broad education. Do it here. I mean, maybe the question is more uh, like what. Do you want to immediately after you graduate? So yeah, maybe in that case you should pick higher education over entrepreneur. Yeah, higher education will always help you to understand things better. Okay, I'm ending the poll now. Eighty-one percent, and yeah, here are the results. Go ahead. Wow. Well, yeah, as expected, sixty-two uh, percent uh, opted for getting. Not bad. The twenty-eight percent want pursue their education, and ten percent who are going to be so. Seventy-four uh, are actual, you know, number in becoming an entrepreneur. I think so. And not many surprises here, I see. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sure, <laughs> then. Yeah, continue. And 
and yeah geeta mill definitely you know uh, do its best to you know get you placed in your dream organization and i totally you know uh, uh, gcgc has my complete trust and i believe uh, they've already uh, had a session with the students right there okay cool uh, let's move on to the next uh, panelist uh, vishnu vampali uh, he is uh, working as a software development engineer in amazon at uh, seattle he's graduated he's graduated uh, in 2015 with a btech in computer science engineering and at amazon he's been working since 4 years and is building scalable and maintainable software systems and he is also an alumni of university of florida where he did his masters in computer science so he is more of a millennial than the previous three uh, panelists so his journey and his insights will you know uh, maybe connect more to the students uh, i believe so vishnu uh, it's all yours now uh, please uh, walk us through your journey insights and whatever you would like to you know share with us sure um thanks navin um, and uh, once again i would like to uh, abhishek navin uh, jaya ma'am thank you for uh, having me over uh, it's it's really wonderful to connect to all the uh, new geetam uh, incoming students and potential students it's really wonderful to share uh, my thoughts with them uh, uh, thank you for the opportunity um, well um Uh, all the panelists who spoke before me they said uh, amazing things about geetam which uh, i i can uh, attest to all of them being more of a recent uh, graduate i would say um, i studied from 2011 to 2015 uh that was my uh, time at geetam and i really really enjoyed my time at geetam uh, had all the uh, points that uh, all the panelists before me said i made great friends friends for life i had wonderful uh, experiences where i was able to not only develop my technical skills uh, but also my interpersonal skills and communication skills and um Uh, i don't want to again uh, uh, tell the same uh, thing because um, i don't think i uh, i can say it better than uh, all the people who told me before uh, so i would like to uh, just share my journey how it has been through geetam what has been my uh, uh, journey so far until uh, today so that it might help you guys um, uh, get some idea about a potential career path uh, that you can uh, visualize yourselves uh, if that's something of interest to you um, which was something i never had in my mind while i was studying so i think it's uh, useful to uh, have that um so uh, like deeraj i'm also uh, brought up in vizag i did my schooling entire schooling and my plus 2 in vishakhapatnam then i joined computer science engineering at geetam uh, i joined in 2011 and uh, graduated in 2015 um while uh, I, i was a uh, i would say i was a decent student i, I didn't um, uh, i maintained a good gpa uh, but more than that what geetam has really given me was an opportunity to develop my extra curriculars which until then until my plus 2 uh, was like really zero uh, but then um, i participated in a lot of uh, uh, fests i participated in hackathons which are uh, basically coding competitions uh, i was also the board member and the public relations head for uh, the computer society of india club the geetam student chapter in my third and final year and that uh, really helped me you know to uh, build my uh, interpersonal skills uh, i was organizing events talking to uh, sponsors and all that trying to convince them to uh, sponsor our event so that that all gave me a wonderful experience and every time i went and presented myself as a geetam student people were ready to listen to me so it was not like they were uh, they didn't show any interest in me which itself was a good uh, feeling to have and then i uh, pre- started preparing for my higher education in my uh, final semester of my third year uh, and i gave my gre exam in uh, my fourth year uh, went to the university of florida uh, in the united states uh, pursued my masters there and um, again while i was doing my masters i didn't shy away from any extra curriculars there uh, with all the you know confidence that i 
built over the last four years from Geetham. Um, I even uh, uh, went ahead and I served as a board member for the Un University of Florida Data Science and Informatics Club. Um, and I was working with um, foreigners, which was very, very, very new to me, both culturally and um, you know, technically, they were all, they came from different backgrounds. So uh, I had the confidence to uh, put myself uh, amongst them and succeed, um, which uh, for which Keetham really laid the platform. And then um, I got into Amazon as a software engineer. I've been working there for the last, uh, it's been almost four and a half years now. Uh, I work as a mid-senior level engineer uh, at this point. And um, if I would really like to say one thing uh, that Keetham really gave me, which I would treasure for the rest of my life is uh, it taught me the importance of awareness because um, when, when I first joined Geetham, I was literally clueless. Like I, um, when I was in my counseling, I had the option of choosing every branch and uh, uh, I just took computer science because someone told me that it's the easiest of the lot. Uh, that's how naive I was when I joined Geetham, but um, over the course of time uh, with uh, the friendships and the interactions that I had, um, I was able to, you know, distinguish between what, uh, who should I talk to or uh, how, whom should I reach out to, how to gather information is the biggest thing that uh, really Geetham propelled me to, because um, when I wanted to prepare for my master's, um, Geetham was giving uh, coaching for uh, students uh, uh, by uh, tying up with the Time Institute, uh, which gave coaching for MBA and uh, uh, MS preparation. So I went out, I went over to them, had a chat with them. Even though I didn't take coaching from them, I knew what where I had to start. And uh, it's because of Geetham that I got that awareness. And then when I was looking for universities, I, all I had to do was really talk to my professors who even gave me the context of their old students. So. Uh, it just taught me how to reach out to people, how to uh, get uh, awareness about things. And um, that that's one thing I would really say is, has played a great uh, uh, role in my life. And yeah, like uh, any other student, um, Geetham, uh, I would say Geetham is the best college in the area uh, in and around Vishakhapatnam. If you really uh, think of college life, it's the place to be. Uh, I've had, I had a blast uh, my four years. I still cherish them. So yeah, um, really uh, happy for uh, all of you guys who are considering Geetham. Uh, I would definitely say it's a step in the right direction uh, for your future careers. Um, I wish all the best. Um, hope to um, interact more with you guys. Thank you yeah. very much, Vishnu. That was pretty insightful. Uh, yeah, the students might have, you know, uh, find it uh, beneficial in a way that uh, they know what to look for in the college and uh, what to seek. Uh, next, we have uh, Praveen Sai Sadasiva. Uh, he is uh, the youngest of the panelists and he is uh, a very recent graduate. 2020 and he's uh, graduated with a degree in computer science engineering BTech and got placed in Microsoft as an associate consultant. Uh, he's I think got a little more than a year of experience uh, and he's working on uh, some of the latest technologies like Azure Cloud, artificial intelligence, etc. I think uh, students will be able to, you know, uh, more resonate with his insights on how he got placed, how Geetham helped in his journey and stuff like that. So Praveen, uh, it's all yours now. Please walk us through your journey, uh, your, uh, uh, you know, uh, any involvement in any of the clubs, student interest, uh, special interest groups and uh, uh, GCGC placements. Yeah, talk us about, uh, what you've uh, you know uh, gone through with people. Yeah, uh, thanks, thanks, Naveen, for uh, this opportunity, and thank you, everyone. Thanks, Gitam. Uh, I it's it's really difficult to <laughs> speak after all the speakers because <laughs> most of them cover almost all things. But um, I I I don't know where to start from. But I I I I I'll I I just remember the first time I visited Gitam. It was. Uh, way before the admissions started and I just stepped into the campus and I felt a cool sea breeze from 
from the uh, beach nearby and the moment i felt that i thought oh this 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 breeze is like a breeze of opportunities that is waiting for me i i just opened my hands i literally opened my hands and felt that breeze and i was so peaceful to uh, just experience this campus for the first time and 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 from that moment uh, i never looked back and it it and uh, the, the the most the best thing that i love about geetham is its vibrant and diverse culture you you got people from all around the place different uh, uh with uh, very uh, diverse opinions and then uh, you get uh, so many faculties who are so much experienced and uh, and i and i see that a lot of changes that are currently going on in in our uh, universities but i I'm, i'm unfortunate that i could not experience that but uh, let me walk you through uh, what what i did uh, during my college days and uh, as i see there are 60% 60 plus percent of people who want to get placed in the dream company that 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 was a dream which came true my dream for 10 plus years it was to work with microsoft because it it's such an amazing company and i i to this day if anyone asked me i always thank geetham for providing me that opportunity and uh, uh, just uh, to navigate uh, everyone through the campus life uh, i think it's one of the best best campus life you can ever have in in our country and people are so good here so friendly they're always ready to help and uh, and and you you can make some amazing friends the faculties are so friendly and they they are actually willing to support you and guide you through your career and uh, and help you whenever you require any help and uh, the most important things are the fest that, that take place here and also the student uh, societies that are present um, as 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 the previous speakers already told you about there are a lot of uh, student bodies and all which uh, which with with amazing opportunities the only thing that you need to do is push yourself forward and just get enrolled in that and then just participate because that that would that would open an insights into a different world you you can learn a lot uh my my when 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 i saw this uh, advertisement from geetham i was so happy that uh, it says unlimited learning with geetham so that 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 is uh, something that i i loved so much because i i see that every opportunity or every experience whether it be good or be bad uh, is a learning experience ultimately at the end of the day uh, before i go to sleep i see what have i learned today so that that is the most important part and and fr- with this opportunities that are there on campus i i bet uh, <laughs> no other uh, private university especially can give this many opportunities so uh, it it teaches you a lot of things when you interact with different people when you interact with uh, people from different uh, walks of life it 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 just teaches you different things i i learned so many things uh, especially stakeholder management when i uh, enrolled in this fest and organized this fest and all and also uh, i've heard and i personally experienced and i've seen that geetham geetham is the place which builds the leaders for tomorrow and and i i i truly appreciate that all these changes that are taking place are in the right direction and also uh, uh, these opportunities which are available on campus like the fest and all and and uh, there's specially centers for entrepreneurship development and there are incubators uh, the uh, startup incubators and there are so many other things especially uh, uh, for placements and all uh which are uh, directed towards uh, getting you landed into a dream job uh, so all these things uh, and when you participate in all these things it, it it enhances your leadership skills it builds leaders from inside 
so uh, that that is uh, what um, i loved most of about this uh, university and i feel like it's my home <laughs> every day when i wake up and i i i want to go to my university to meet all the people and uh, it, it was an amazing experience and apart from that uh, all these things apart the most important thing is you need to have fun you need to have fun that fun part is always there at geetham and uh, it's extreme craziness that drives your passion i believe that when you're crazy about something that means you're passionate and that passion drives you forward and on this note i would like to conclude that keep learning whatever the opportunities are grab it with open hands and i i'm sure that um, a world of new opportunities is waiting for you and uh, you you you're at the right place to start your career thank you over to you navin thank you very much pravin uh, that was pretty uh, insightful uh, being an alumni myself uh, i resonate with uh, all your uh, thoughts and uh, the one thing that uh, was is a new addition from back back from our times like mine or deeraj or maybe even uh, saket and arun sir me too me too i am a geetham alumni so oh wow looks like uh, everybody here is, here is an alumni of geetham yes. that's nice <laughs> uh, even abhishek is an alumni uh, he is a recent grad and uh, i see a lot of uh, you know uh, clubs and sigs at geetham now they are a uh, very Uh, you know uh, nice initiatives and gives you a great opportunity to you know uh, enhance showcase your skills which will boost your confidence and not only you know uh, help you in your interests but it will also help you you know uh, when you're exploring uh, unknown territories uh, like the way uh, vishnu you know uh, mentioned i mean it will help you in other aspects of your life too uh, so i had a very uh, similar path as vishnu i mean i graduated in 2006 and then uh, went to us for my higher education then you know started working there and uh, very recently i've moved back to india uh, and here i am uh, working with geetham uh, it gives me great pleasure doing this uh, and uh, i hope uh, the students had some great insights from all the panelists let's have a poll now jaya and Jaya. Right, after, right after that uh, we'll open it for uh, q and a we'll, yeah. we'll so be uh, left with we'll be left with very little time so i'll just quickly, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, go through the quickly, i'm i'm, I'm shooting out the poll how excited are you to begin your geetham journey oh a very nice question so i'm just launching the question guys please do answer yes here you go acha by the way bridge bridge classes means a class which bridge your previous academic uh, you know learning and the course which you are going to take up for say if i am going to take an bba you know the bridge class for me would be what did i learn in my you know plus two and how bba is going to be how the curriculum is going to be you know basically the ice breaking and you know bridging the gap between your previous learning and the uh, future learning so this is bridge class and these classes will be for 28 days starting from september 17 i hope i have answered those questions on classes starting and yes 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 everything will be online so there is no directive and we are the interview university so we have to follow the directives of aict and ugc so all the classes will be online till we get a directive from them to conduct offline classes okay uh, that is on that and on the hostel and all my colleague uh, gancham will uh, you know take it up dg you are here yes 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 please while they answer the poll please answer to the hostel related and other questions uh, as of now uh, your requests are there with us for the hostel uh, related Uh, but once when we open the offline campuses you will be getting notification to block your uh, room for the hostel and for any more queries regarding the rules and procedures of hostel uh, i am just dropping you the contact number and the email id you could reach out to them uh, and there's no particular dress code for the 
campus, but it should be decent enough. This is very important. Most of the students are asking about the dress code in the campus. And one more thing, many questions regarding the Coursera. Please understand that uh, Coursera access will be given to you with the help of your Geetam email IDs. There's no access for your personal email IDs and we will not give any access to your personal email IDs. This will be given at a later stage once after your certificate verification is done and your joining process is completely done within 15 to 20 days from the joining process, you will be receiving from the digital learning team for the access of the course era. And from there, you can take whatever course you are interested in. We will have Coursera, we will have Moodle, we will have Grammarly, we will give get access, you know, for all these courses. Like Gansham said, uh, all post certificate verification, you will get your official Geetam IDs, email IDs, and these access have to be given to those IDs. So, okay, I'm ending the poll. Oh, I'm sharing the results. I can't wait any longer. Oh, I love this answer. <laughs> Nice. 46% nice. they can't wait any longer. That is why I see all those questions on classes starting. So Nice. That's good to know. And uh, I apologize, guys. Uh, we were not able to, you know, accommodate anybody from the Hyderabad or uh, Bangalore campuses uh, alumni today. But uh, we are going to, uh, you know, uh, do this more often and include uh, more Women, or alumni more from different from... other courses also. So now we will definitely exactly. We are definitely working towards it. Basically. Yep, definitely. And uh, uh, I've seen one question regarding experiences in hostels. Are any of our panelists uh, have experienced the hostels at Geetam? If so, please you know uh, help us uh, give your insights about it. I would like to share an experience. Uh, though I'm sure, not stayed in the hostel, but because we were half day in the college, so we used to go to the boys' hostel a lot. Uh, we used to go there. Once we had our basketball matches, and I somehow forgot to get my changeover bag. So my shoes, my shorts, my t shirt, everything was in the bag. And we had the match at four o'clock. The college gets over at three. So there was no time to go back home and get it. So all I had to do was to go to the boys' hostel. And within five minutes, I had the shoe that I needed, my size. I had my changeover. I had everything given, arranged in five minutes. And the boys were so helpful. In five minutes, I got my everything and I had gone for the match. So uh, the boys' hostel has a very good culture. You know, they have a, it's more like a family kind of feeling where people know each other, they're in touch with each other. It's nice. The boys' hostel has that uh, environment. And the one uh, experience that I want to throw in uh, is, uh, I've uh, recently started working at Geetham and uh, because of all the COVID protocols, uh, most of the food places are closed. So the only option I have is to, you know, have my lunch at the Geetham hostel. And I found it to be uh, pretty clean and very tasteful. Uh, and considering my, you know, 15 years in US, I mean, uh, the standards are pretty high for my expectations. And the food at uh, Geetham Vizag's hostel really surprised me and uh, yeah, I loved it. And uh, there's one more question. Yes, I agree with you because I've, I've tasted Geetham food a couple of times. Oh too. yeah. I'm an, I'm an it, re it really surprised me because I was not expecting uh, that quality of uh, food at the uh, hostel uh, in uh, you know uh, Geetham and I'm pleasantly surprised and I really liked it. And uh, one question that I've uh, uh, noticed is that uh, someone asked uh, Praveen how he got into Microsoft. And I thought that might be helpful to others. I mean, walk us through that particular, you know, uh, part of your journey. Okay. Uh, so there's, <laughs> there's no specific way, uh, uh, to be honest. And uh, let me tell this to everyone that each, each individual is different and um, there's no uh, predefined path that you can follow but uh, let me tell you from my interview experience that uh, what microsoft expects from uh, the employees that it's going to hire uh, the only and the most important thing is your willingness to learn and adopt that's the main important thing um, and 
uh, rest every rest all is uh, whatever you do on campus uh, the events that you participated in and how how it has helped you in uh, shaping what you are today so uh, the technical skills are also important but uh, if you say uh, sorry i do not know the answer for this that does not mean that you get rejected that means uh, the answer should be uh, sorry i do not know this but i am willing to learn that willingness to learn and to change and to adopt uh, is the core part of uh, how microsoft works when I, when i joined microsoft and i saw another question also that what skills do did you have to get into microsoft to be on what microsoft skills to be honest i did not have any of the microsoft skills apart from the excel and word <laughs> to uh, to get into microsoft uh, that that is because uh, microsoft provides you an opportunity to, to learn when when you are an employee with them so uh, do not do not worry much about these placements and all just just try try to give your best every time learn as much as you can that's the most important thing i always keep stressing on this learning part because that learning is what drives you forward if if you stop learning that means that's it uh, that's the end of the world for you so please please keep learning um, uh, to share few of the technologies azure is what uh, drives most of uh, uh the microsoft work today so uh, because we know that every every organization is looking to move towards cloud so i i say it it's azure azure cloud so any of the cloud technologies would help so hope i answered it i think so i mean thank you and uh, another question i've noticed is please tell us about uh, internships given by this college um uh, so uh i don't know if i can you know uh, i have the whole uh, yeah about it but i noticed that there are a lot of internal uh, internship opportunities coming up as well along with the efforts being put in by gcgc and our uh, department of external relationships working you know to get more internships uh to uh, students so we're working on it and if any of the panelists has any experience about yes. internships uh, please do add navin i would like to add something here uh, uh, uh the department specific departments uh, do get into contact with um, industries and companies to get few of the companies Uh, to uh, conduct an intern hiring drive here i i personally seen that uh, there were around five to six companies uh, that came at the end of our third year to uh, hire students for as interns and also there are a few internal internships and certification programs that do happen in the summer break uh, by uh, red hat uh, that's uh, one and we do have contact with many other intern providers uh, in in andhra pradesh uh, where student where our students go and uh, usually do their internships that's great to know uh, praveen uh, and another question is does geetam support students who are having some startup ideas uh, so yes uh, definitely yes not just students but alumni as well uh, there is something called vdc venture development center at geetam uh, i really can't uh, talk about it in detail now but please do google for it uh, google it uh, next or... week we are having the session on vdc oh that's great uh, so or you can just go and look for vdc.geetam.edu it's a great initiative uh, that is helping students as well as alumni with startups so Yeah, if you guys need uh, more information about it, uh, get in touch with me or uh, Jaya, and we can, you know, uh, redirect you to them. There's a uh, practical laboratory sciences for life science students. I think uh, Arun can. Arun. Yeah. Yes, Jaya. Yes, we have. Uh, practical laboratories and life science studies. I talk about you know a little more on how uh, we other infra uh, at campus for sciences. 
uh, well, if it is about life sciences, I'll uh, definitely say yes. You have good uh, laboratories there. If I had to talk about, yes, my wife is a PhD from Geetam. She's from uh, Cancer Research Lab. Uh, uh, initially, I was surprised, like Geetam holds a cancer research lab too. But yes, I was shocked to see the equipment that they had. And uh, they have a couple of projects if I had to, I mean, uh, uh, the, the guide, I mean, even uh, my guru, who is uh, Ramaro Malla, Professor Ramaro Malla was a guide, and uh, they have different sets of uh, equipment, which are quite uh, expensive, but uh, ho hopefully I have seen a couple of them in CCMB, if I had to talk about. Uh, so they have a couple of good projects in hand, so they have sufficient laboratory uh, equipment and uh, good faculty to train them uh, for all this, what do you call it, uh, the exposure that they can get in terms of practical uh, knowledge and all, that is absolutely good. Thank you. Good to know that, Arun. Uh, yeah, do we have uh, any more uh, interesting questions? We will, that take, we'll, uh, we'll take one more question. Uh, uh, guys, how is this course? How is that course? I think probably you'll have to wait for your bridge classes to understand more on your courses. You know, we will not be able to tell you what are the prospects for that particular course, like say CSC or, you know, CSC, MIEL you know, MLA and also your professor would be the right uh, you know, kind to tell. So wait for your bridge classes. So there's one more question on, you know, uh, what kind of opportunities within the campus uh, the students get apart from academics? No, not just the academics. So anybody who has, I, I see Sake talking about fairs and, you know, being part of a lot of clubs. So anybody, Neeraj, then Praveen, any of you who are part of, clubs or there's a photography club there's a book uh, you know reading club so anything exciting which you did apart from academics please do uh, talk about it uh, yeah I, I would like to share a couple of things there are a lot of technical clubs and as well as cultural clubs as well um, there's something called kalakriti that has uh, so many uh, things inside you have, you've got photography club a videography club and then my marts and it uh, you can actually uh, get into um, what we say I'm, I'm not getting the uh, a, a movie uh, club which uh, which short has films. short films yeah. and all and then dance club singing club then playing instruments what not uh, and there are 80 uh, such clubs as a yes project. yes yes so there's clubs for entrepreneurships and a uh, lot of clubs. Guys, there <laughs> it, are so many people who pursue their passion here. There's a music, upcoming music director, Gita Malumne. There's an upcoming singer. There's an actress. These are all recent, you know, uh, you know, alumni. So there are a lot of opportunities for you to access the non-academic uh, parts. Go, go ahead, go ahead. Sorry. And and also uh, a lot in sports as well. Uh, I don't know whether any one of them have visited the campus. So we, we had that beautiful cricket ground in front and also the basketball and, and an indoor sports uh, complex as well. So uh, it's practically anything that you can think of is available at Geetam. You name it and you have it. There's almost everything is available. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. Online sums it up. Thank you. Uh, uh, there's this architecture uh, thing, uh, guys. You know, architecture course here is really super. We next time we try getting, you know, got of uh, some architect, uh, you know, who's pursuing their architect mm -hmm. thing uh, as alumni. In fact, we had, uh, you know, then Guinness World Record holder who is a student of, uh, you know, we are here. Every year they get uh, foreign tours to all these. Uh, heritage sites across the globe. They go to Turkey, Dubai, Singapore, Egypt. So it's really exciting. And if you want to know more about architecture, please do, you know, log on to our website and check, get the details, go to Sweetham School of Architecture, contact details and talk to them. They'll be more than happy to, you know, talk about it. Uh, Bangalore and Hyderabad campuses are as good as Vizag campus, but it's just that you'll be missing the beach. That's all. Mm -hmm. These campuses minus beach is is your uh, you know meet them over there. We will have same kind of you know people around. We will have same kind of faculty. There are you know you have so many people sitting in front of you on the screen who are Gita alumni. So what best you know it can tell. And every person will have their own experiences. 
is there some people will learn a lot through mistakes some people will learn a lot through all good things happening so it's just that you come with your open perception wait for your classes to start you know don't just get bored that these are online classes will i be learning uh, you know or will they be the same as good as offline classes but everything has got its own advantage and disadvantage and like one of the digital session reema man said that though digital you know gives a disadvantage but there are a lot of advantages wherein you can have more learning so just don't don't worry that you know i know everybody would love to come to campus and i hope the covid ends soon and we will see all the beautiful smiley young faces walking into the campus uh, with with lot of aspirations to come so uh, now we do want to uh, you know sum it up by a thank you note to the panelists Uh, sure, 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 Jaya. Uh, I myself have uh, you know uh, enjoyed this uh, session thoroughly. I mean, uh, yeah, I felt a little uh, nostalgic uh, in between and uh, all those feelings, and I hope the panelists experience the the same thing too. I thank you all uh, for you know uh, providing valuable insights, talking through your uh, talking us through your journey. uh etc and i'm hoping the students might have you know uh, got an idea on what it's going to be like how it's going to help them achieve their dreams and stuff like that so thank you again thank you very much for your time and efforts and uh, watching, i'm launching the last question on their feedback for the session sure so from 5 to 1 star so let's see how are they star how are they giving the star to our five star panelists over here so sure i start with so, panelists so. and yeah. students and please do uh, be brutally honest uh, so that you know yeah uh, yeah so that that will be yeah, our... it will help us to do this guys again and uh, that will be this will start online 17 september 28 days october 15 your offline classes will start On, uh, sorry online classes will start and offline classes we will not be able to tell you at this point of time everything will be online now you need a laptop or a mobile phone i really don't want to comment on this you are the right person and if you are pursuing your ug or pg i think it's right time you you get your own laptop or devices and don't just borrow or trouble your parents with those those devices uh, okay and last day to yeah sorry your bridge classes will i uh, you know you can access or get into the bridge classes only if you pay your semester or annual fee that's when you will you know secure your admission at geetham and till you are uh, you know you are not a geetham student we will not be able to give you an access to your bridge classes coursera moodle grammarly or any other online platform so please do pay your fee on or before september 15 so that your bridge classes can be accessible to you um yeah we will try getting some pictures of hostel and campuses if possible we i think you can google it there are a lot of beautiful uh, video shot by our very own students you can just you know google uh, you know youtube may you can go and search you'll get a lot of videos on our campus uh, photographs a lot of activities so just do some little homework on that if you want to you know see the campus or just drop in go visit your campus a day take your parents and see how the campus is so that you understand that 80% of the answers so i am ending the poll here that's what i i used to do whenever i used to you know uh, miss neetam i used to go to youtube and search uh, at neetam campus and here are yeah. the results so that 55 yeah. good percent five stars 30 percent four stars 11 three stars thank you thank you so much guys thank you all so much uh, for you know giving us your feedback and for those who have you know uh, started one one stars and two stars uh, please do reach out to us on uh, how we can make this better for you so that yeah. we can you know do that we will try same. getting the uh, exact pictures of hostels we will try getting the hostel images also like one of them are asking so and i hope all the panelists were patient enough is not so please the same question repeating one after the others so it just bogs up so otherwise i think all the panelists were you know sweet enough to answer your questions and share their experiences thank you so much saket praveen arun dheeraj and uh, uh, vishnu thank you navin and abhishek for the session thank you so much for you know ably hosting the session
guys next session will be on vdc which is venture development center so all your entry crowd who want to you know who is excited to know about entrepreneurship please do log in saturday 18 september same time 11 am uh, so please please do be uh, you know present for the session and thanks a lot for all the panelists for their time thank you, thank you. so much thank, thank you. you very much guys thank you thank you, thank you. signing thank off you. bye thank you bye bye guys bye